Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. Once again, I'm Shadow Fifty Three, and once again, I am joined by Flores. So we're going to be casting a game on Titan Duel. This is going to be between Flores and Lidarcy, though Flores being known as Spring at the time. And oh yeah, that's one of my names. That's true. Yes, Flores has many names. I don't know his true name, so I can't bind him or anything. Yeah, that's sometimes a bit annoying, I, I admit. Well, I can but certainly understand your concern. Anyway, on with the show. Let us begin. So, Ladarcy starting on the top left corner of the map, going for Cloaky, while Spring is going for the light vehicle, light which is vehicle, much more light. typical. Yeah, it's been a while since we lost, since I played this game. I don't remember that much uh, from it. But I don't think I watched the replay yet, so I find it interesting that um, Ladarshi starts out with the Constructor. I guess he's probably taking advantage of the size of the map. I mean, he starts with the Constructor and then 15 Glaives, so clearly he's expecting to expand and then just tear apart with Raiders. While you're going for Slashers. Yeah, that was one of the discussions we had before uh, this game. He's no, not using no. his E-Cell, it seems. Actually, I make just one dart to scout out his factory and see what he did. Yeah, and, and you're using Beam Laser E-Cell, while Ladarcy is using nothing at all, although admittedly he might morph later. But, yeah, I can definitely see why he was doing that. It's just a little... You don't usually see Cloaky Bot on Titan Duel. This map's usually considered to be too big for that. But I guess right. Ladarcy figured that it wasn't too big of a deal. Indeed, now I did... Do remember I had a misclick because I sent my commander to a city location. So, <laughs> center of the map? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, I pointed it out myself. Indeed you did. But it doesn't matter, that will stop that glaive from coming in, but... Yeah, still, the big, still, the big problem is the fact... Slasher needs to take care of these other glaives, which it... Can get rid of one of them, but the other one... No, it won't kill in time. That slasher's taking a lot of damage. Holy crap, that slasher oh, was two shots away from death. Yep. I got a bit lucky there. Indeed you did. And Ladarcy is continuing to go for more glaives while expanding about the same rate, actually. It looks like both of you are expanding about the same rate. Ladarcy does have a healthier energy economy, though, due to that... Well, solar plants, actually. Not due to the E-cell. Surprisingly enough, you have no energy whatsoever. Other than E-cell. Oh, I do have only an E-cell energy cell, uh, Commander. That's all you that's... have. That's all that Spring has here. I, kind of weird. I am weird. starting to make uh, solars with uh, the commander in the center of the map. I see that, yes. Oh, this is kind of weird. This is the first time I've ever cast a game where the other person was the person who was involved in the game. I'm used to casting my own games, but... This is bizarre. I'm retreating my damaged uh, slasher to uh, make it live longer during this attack of slash. Yeah, it seems to have paid off, although one of the slashers did, did go down ultimately, as is one of the metal extractors. Of course, that glaive out of... No, it's out of range! Although one of the slashers just out of the factory finishes it off before any additional damage is dealt. But it looks like Ladarcy is definitely pushing a bit ahead. The expansion of the center well, is the only thing the only working thing. for you at this point. He just traded five glaives for a metal extra. Take that trade. That's a point. Admittedly, all the wreckage is in your base. And that, uh, too. I do need a lot of energy, though. But Scythe coming in from Ladarcy on the south side of the map. Actually, Scythe, Scythe are streaming in. With two Scythes now and another Scythe coming down while Ladarcy expands over to the north. And you continue to expand into the center and east. And look at that Scythe that's going for the Mason and... Actually, I guess that's probably not a bad move. Not the... That's a very good move. That's the best move we could... Really think so? Do. Okay. Because yeah, it is a good move, certainly. Certainly. He can keep me uh, locked up in one location, uh, income-wise. That's true. I mean, it's definitely a good idea to kill builders, nonetheless. And another scythe is coming in. Looks like it's going to try to get around where you're commi- No, it's not even going anywhere useful. Just line moving with the rest of the size. Looks like he's going for a big scythe attack pretty soon. Though he's given away the fact that he has scythes. That was the reason I was a bit concerned, because he did get rid of a mason, which is good, but he gave away the fact that he is playing scythes, which means you can deal with that. Now that you know it exists. Now you can see why the snipe of the constructor was so important. I did not have any uh, build power close to my factory, so I would 
need to build uh, a new mason with my factory only to get it, my production going again. That's true. And it's very good from Darcy that he recognized my style of expansion and made those uh, scythes. Yeah, because it certainly seems like you are quite like me, actually, where you expand mostly with just your commander and don't build a whole lot of workers. Usually I do, but this time it, it was my first... I don't want to make excuses, but this was my first game in, in a long time. A proper one for one in a long time. Ah. So I, I just completely forgot about Masons. I Although, should have had at least two, three more at this point. But hold on, I thought Ladarcy is getting his side spotted by one of your darts. And that worked out pretty nicely. It looks like Ladarcy is actually running out of energy, too. His sides are getting decloaked pretty regularly. Yeah, they do eat energy. So it looks like he's managed to get his energy income slightly above, so he's not quite losing it, but it's definitely a concern. My darts just took out the defender and the metal extractor. Yes, they did. That was very nicely done there. And Ladarcy, however, does have a lot of size moving around. Been spotted again, getting rid of the dart that spotted them, but still spotted again. So once again, Ladarcy's side's not quite able to get their element of surprise. And a proxy cloaky bot factory from you... Yes, that, that's what I want. That, that's going to be interesting, although admittedly still the entire southwest side of the map, I see what you mean by the worker, the entire southwest side of the map has been left unclaimed. That's the lack of constructions, constructors. I mean, that's also the reason why I'm the center. I needed to build power there. So I have my uh, commander build it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. You're going for half-built laser towers. I intend my uh, nano tower to finish him. My command needs to uh, defend and uh, claim Maxis on the left side. Indeed, it's just... I haven't really seen anyone do that before. <laughs> certainly, oh, it's, it's certainly a common trick. It, it's a very... It is indeed a useful trick. I just am a bit surprised that it hasn't come up more often than before. And Sai is getting spotted again by a Scorcher, as the comm does spot them, although the comm... I don't... No, the comm can kill all of them before it's a problem, and oh, looks like your comm is going down! Spring's comm oh, is going oh, down to the sides. Or it would be a more the fact that the sides are completely overshooting it, and there it goes, going down, taking the sides out with it. But that is and mostly the build power and energy. Power. Actually, still have a fair amount of energy, so you're okay there, but Ladarcy at this point having an energy advantage. Still no E-cell, just going entirely off of solars. Yeah, he's now starting to spam Rogos. Pure Roko. Well, it certainly will match the range of the slashers, but I'm not sure the best. It's a good option, but not the best option. He has the, an advantage in production over me, so he can spam anything. Blaze would have worked too. Blaze probably would have worked better given the Scorchers coming in, but on the other hand, Scorchers don't benefit from being at long range, so perhaps Rockers weren't a bad choice. They're doing a good job nonetheless. They're doing a very good job getting rid of these Scorchers. So it's worth pointing out the fact that Scorchers being vehicles are easier to lead than bots are. So it's easier for Rockets yeah, to take care of them. I tried to keep his expansions on his life side uh, in check, despite me uh, being pushed back a lot. I do tend to sacrifice units to uh, prevent my opponent from expanding. I... Well, that is kind of the way, isn't it, with this game? Yeah, but I... See, I, those, like I see it rarely. Indeed. I mean, it's a hard thing to remember to do, but it's, as far as I understand, kind of the way this game goes. That It's not a matter of building up your own economy, it's a matter of making sure your opponent's economy grows slower than you. Yeah, it's, it's the result of, uh, of those two. Although it looks like that Scorcher over the north is doing a great job dealing with some expansions. It has a bunch of openings. I mean, the northeast is pretty north much open east. to it. The north it has no defenses whatsoever. The main base is a few defenders here and there, but basically, Ladarcy is completely open. His only hope is to distract you at this point. Yeah, he's trying to spam me to death, which uh, is not... Unit under attack. No, indeed, it does not appear to be working especially well, though it is actually working okay. It does have some strike forces going in, starting to take out some of the masons there in the south, or will be soon taking out the masons in the south. And... And unfortunately for him, however, the forces to the northeast have been spotted. The expansion has been spotted. The Scorcher will be coming in to tear it apart as the Glaive gets rid of the defenders. That northeast expansion is clearly gone. I think at this point, Ladarcy is going to lose his economic advantage. As Ravagers come in as well. Yeah, well, I'm also about to lose well. the, the lower right corners. You see? 
he, he did forget about my uh, my vehicle factory, and I started uh, to make stumpies. No, uh, I mean uh, ravages. <laughs> never heard that term used. Okay, I, I haven't really played Total Annihilation much. I know what you're talking about, but I never <laughs> okay, really think yeah. about that. I think of the terms used in Zero K because I didn't play Total Annihilation very much as a kid. Oh, Balance Annihilation still uses the same name. I'm sure they do, but of course Zero K changed them all. Or the most. <laughs> I still think Rocco and Jethro should be renamed. But I digress. Uh, pretty weak. Those rogues are my best, so when I. Indeed, they are, but they appear to be not able to deal any meaningful damage, hitting some of the units, but unfortunately for Ladarcy, not able to take care of the vehicle factory or the Mason. One of the Masons did go down, but another Mason staying alive. And it looks like at the same time. Spring's Force is coming into the north and will be able to take out less defended force. Warriors are about the only defense force available for the Darcy that's actually chasing the Rockos away. Yeah, I don't do not dare to go in any fury because if he uh, turns on the Glaive Machine, uh, they, I'm happy just to push him back for a bit and uh, keep hanging out in that area. I'm actually a little bit surprised he hasn't switched over to Glaives a bit more. I mean, he, you have a few Glaives out, but mostly Rockos. Although, admittedly, you oh, are admittedly. getting more glaives and ticks now, but still, I'm a bit surprised there aren't a lot of glaives just to deal with, just deal with stragglers, deal with rockos, and the warriors can't be everywhere at once. Now he's doing a second attack on my uh, vehicle base. Yes, he is. Yes. Three, three warriors, two rockos coming into the south, and a bunch of ravagers to deal, ravagers and scorchers to deal with them. Do you think I will win or lose this fight? I think you'll win. The scorchers are going to be able to tear it apart, as long as they get close enough. That's the, that's the key thing. The scorchers have to get close enough. But the Ravagers... This is where I make a mistake. Oh, he surround... And Ladarcy goes for a nice surround of the Warriors. And I was completely wrong. The Scorchers got surrounded by those Warriors. The Ravagers, however, still can take out the Warriors pretty easily. But the Rockos might be a threat. And the Ravagers uh, once again are... clumping together. Oh dear. Yeah, the Warriors are taking out the Ravagers. I completely called that wrong. <laughs> I knew because I so did I. I thought I will win this fight. This is mine. Well, it was, looks like it was a question of positioning, really. Yeah, it was bad mark I wasted all my scorches on those warriors. I wasn't paying attention for a second, then I just went for it and I lost them all. And I blew, blew my uh, my tick. Yeah, no, I had a tick down going on. At the north side of the map, at the same time, it looks like there is well, a small battle, but not quite as meaningful as one in the southeast. Just double checking what's there, and it looks like the vehicle factory had half health. The vehicle factory is going to go down, very quickly going to go down. Luckily for Ladar luckily for Spring, he does have a Klogibot factory in the center of the map, but that vehicle factory has gone completely down. That is... Let's see. At this point, half the map going to Spring, but mostly the center, and Ladarcy moving in towards the southeast side of the map. Oh, you can attack me in the back. That's something you don't see that often. He's doing a no lot of damage from behind on you, whereas your forces are getting... You're getting surrounded. At this point, Ladarcy doing a wonderful flank here, taking out all of Spring's infrastructure to the south and moving up slowly. These laser turrets are about the only defense force available. Everything else has been destroyed. Yeah, from this point on, this it's one very dart hard to move to the map. <laughs> that one dart really is not going to do dart. much. I think it might be stuck, actually. Oh yeah, appears to be. And a completely wasted tick from Ladarcy, I think. But it doesn't really matter doesn't because, matter that, was because that was wasted. Yeah, my my, my glaives did manage to clean out the the maxes on the left side, but from now on he has me surrounded. And I cannot do anything uh, again from this point on. Yep, but it looks like this point, you're right. This is a complete surround flank. Lasers, however, are doing a pretty good job defending, except for the one yeah. in the northwest, which seems to not quite understand what angle offset means. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one. Still Glaive. I'm not sure how much time he needs to kill me. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot of production actually coming in. He only has about 17 metal, or a little over 17 metal pushes into his factory. I got three or four metal. That's, well, you have eight actually at this point from the reclaim, but yeah, admittedly, it's kind of tough, but the laser turrets are hard to get by. He doesn't have any hammers being built up. All he has to really push against them is Rockos and maybe Warriors. I mean, Warriors in large enough groups will be fine. But your Rockos are actually pushing them away, keeping them from t dealing too much damage. Yeah, retreating Rockos are very hard to deal with. 
Unless you have glaives, but even then it can be tricky. But, I mean, yeah. glaives micromanaged around the rockets would just tear them apart. We do tear them apart. <laughs> As I have found out the hard way many times. Unit. <laughs> Actually, what's really annoying to deal with is Venoms as cloaky bots. Yeah, you have to split like a pro. <laughs> Indeed you do. Admittedly, line move helps with that, but still. Anyway, Spring coming in, getting rid of more laser turrets, just slowly harassing it, chipping away at Ladarcy while building some extra metal extractors, actually. And extra... Yeah, Ladarcy is like not draw. giving up on his economy for a second. That's why he's a good player. Yeah, Ladarcy appears to be rebuilding the left side of the map. Does have anything on the north? Oh, he does have stuff going to the north side of the map. So rebuilding the north side of the map as well, making sure that everything is in place. I'm a bit surprised he isn't building up the south side of the map. You are, but he is not taking that. He is, however, attacking very strongly from the north. Solar Collector's operating is a very effective wall, but even with that, it's not quite enough to stop forces coming in. And Rocco's walking straight into warriors, able to get rid of them, but losing two in the process. And the last warrior, unfortunately, not able to hit the Cloaky Bot Factory, trying to go for the Solar Collector. Solar Collector. And even with that, looks like Ladarcy will be able to take out the Cloaky Bot Factory, and I think that, yeah, will, be that will be game. Game. Yeah, there goes the Cloaky yeah, Bot Factory. Right. Everything else has pretty much gone down. There are. Are there any rectors? I don't think you have any rectors at this point. Let's see. You have one. one. On the top you right. have one. In, the, in the center, I have one. And you have a Mason. So you can rebuild, but I think at this point it's a lost cause. And so do you! And that is game. This was an uh, interesting Springs. game. I remember this one, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think that... Let's see what time it is. Currently 2.25. I think I have to do today. Yeah, I should probably get going. So thank you for joining me, Floris. It was fun. Hopefully next time oh, you'll have yeah, a better, better microphone and setup and headphones. But still, interesting. And once again, thanks for joining me. And yeah. thank you all and for thank watching. Do you want to say anything, Flores? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you for watching as well, and uh, I hope to get a better game going, get a better microphone going uh, next time. Okay, so have a good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. <laughs>